Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Star Wars The Black Series Carbonized The Mandalorian. And thanks to Judd, a huge shout out to him for actually picking these up on Force Friday for me and shipping them out. But uh, UPS store shipped them with bare minimum and look at that box damage. Box looks awesome. It's like all copper and everything. Got the Mandalorian right there on the bottom like all other black series showing off the figure in art form down there he is number 94 then on the back you can actually see well i mean the, besides the damage but you can see the artwork there we do have some read-up information so feel free to pause it This Mandalorian looks great out of the package, and he didn't have any damage because of the crushing, which is great, but he looks awesome, and I definitely need to get a hold of the regular version because they're so different that they would stand out as their own individual Mandalorian characters, if in at least in my reality, in my shelf. Uh, but he does come with two accessories. He comes with, one, a blaster, which this blaster looks great. It's nice and silver. It's got a lot of sculpt work into it for such a little pistol. Looks awesome. Little brown handle. He also comes with a long rifle harpoon looking gun. It's crazy looking, um, but it's it's very very nice. Uh, they actually this is like a shiny metallic copper for the stock. Got the peg that goes into his back. Very nice paintwork throughout this weapon. And the sculpt work is very nice as well. You got a lot of uh, sculpted in details, especially up by the main trigger and everything. You get the scope. Just a really nice sniper rifle. And it looks like if somebody got too close, you could just jab them with it. Or is it like a create the shot from the tip of this like i don't know i don't know how this thing works but it looks wicked a little bit of uh over spray of the silver on the stock but that's okay it could be a little bit of weathering as if like this is starting to wear off i don't know but it looks pretty cool this mandalorian up close looks beautiful the helmet super super clean love the weathering on it love the metallic sheen just looks like it's rusting a little bit, but that visor is super, super clean. The paint apps, I, I don't know what they're doing. It's like Hasbro stepped it up. Like, I feel like their Black Series quality is just improving. Sort of putting a lot of the legends to shame, in my opinion. I love the copper shine to it. And that's really what the carbonized version was. A lot of metallic pearlescent colors and everything throughout this whole character figure whatever you want to call it and this thing is just wicked tons of paint detail on the belts cape has a really cool texture to it as well the cape is very pliable but we can toss it on this side but we can take a look at how the shoulders like this these almost remind me of the seraph troopers like the color that they use right here and right here I do believe that's the trooper i'm thinking of if it's not um i'm sure somebody will correct me but the detail looks great now the fingers they're painted i'm assuming those are it's not supposed to be flesh if that's flesh it looks it's it's awful but I'm just going to say they're part of the gloves. <laughs> we got this shoulder pad over here. Really well done on the battle damage. Belt's got the holster for the pistol. So he can hold all of his stuff. Plug up at the top for the rifle. Shiny butt. Smooth a little extra paint there. It is what it is. It's all right. Nice damage on the, the armor. It's just like a mix mash armor like they found out. It's like a true like bounty hunter. It's like I'm going to get my gear and piece it out to, you know, protect myself and become the better bounty hunter. It looks great. 
Now, one thing I have on mine that I'm not sure if everybody does, it has like this crack. And I don't know if that's the mold or what. Let me focus it right there. So you got this crack that goes around. Does anybody else have that in their figure? It starts there and it sort of wraps away around here. Is it supposed to be like that? Or is it just a mold issue? I even tried like grabbing it here and here to try to like open it up to see if it is actually a deep crack. It wouldn't even budge. So I don't think it's anything I have to worry about. Then we got his little feet. The feet are lacking sculpts there, but they just didn't put any paint or weathering on it, which is weird. Like you have all this and then you got these just solid plastic feet. Like they're just meh. Diving into articulation, his head is on dual balls. Like his neck is a separate piece that balls into the body and then his head's on there. So you get some, you know, movement on the upper neck piece. But then you get the whole neck that actually moves. So you get some really amazing range when it comes to this guy looking around and everything. And it's 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 awesome. Like straight up taking some of this import technology into these figures straight up like that's great the arms do not get hindered by the pauldron so you can actually lift them up shoulder pads slide up there so you get that nice bend up there but you don't get a bicep swivel instead you get a single jointed elbow that does do what it needs to do you know you get a nice angle with it and then it does pivot at the elbow squeakily but it does and he has wrist rotation and then he has wrist bend right there so not too bad he does have like a ball joint up here so he doesn't have like much of an app crunch but he can like pivot he can rotate a little bit but definitely a lot of wiggle movement so i mean he can if we're trying to compare to ab crunch he can lean that way and he can lean back like that far so not too bad. Uh, he does not have a waist rotation. Uh, his feet can kick up only this far um, as it's blurry and you really can't see. So he can kick up. He does have a thigh cut in there. And then he has double jointed knees. And then he has the ankle bend and a pivot. But no uh, boot swivel, which would have been nice. Some sort of ankle or boot swivel in here. Give him that little extra step of articulation in the legs. But overall, a very impressive figure for uh, Force Friday. Now he can definitely pose up. That is 100% real. So I had to bust out this stand because I couldn't just, I couldn't find that little perfect sweet spot in the ankle bend to balance how I have him positioned. So I busted out that stand that came with that uh, Poop Luke and it works very well. As you can see, I have him in a nice, like, running, trying to hunt down his bounty type of pose. And it looks amazing. I love it. I love the fact that you can get him into these nice poses and not have any issues. See? Until he falls out of that, that stand. But when I was messing with him, it's like he can almost stand like that by himself. It's just like you have to really, it's, it's the balancing of the weight on each side. So my finger on there, he's fine. But it's just trying to find that sweet spot for him this pose gives me a little bit of goosebumps i'm not i'm not joking like the fact that we actually have an assault rifle or a rifle laser rifle whatever you want to call it that actually has the stock fit right where it should and that he can actually line up his eyes with the scope to get those shots i mean this is awesome he can actually get down on one knee and it's it looks wicked i love this pose this is I mean, this is a Black Series figure, guys. Like, this, like, what have we been getting these type, this level of articulation and opposability? Like, they're just, they're improving more and more with these figures. It's, it's great. Love this pose. The gang is all here and they look great. I love my Mandalorians and I love the fact that I almost have enough to make a nice shelf display of just purely Mandalorians. And I didn't even include my KO Boba Fett because these are all Hasbro figures and that KO just, eh, eh, just needs to be out of there. And so this just looks awesome and I'm a huge fan of Mandalorians. When Boba Fett hit the screen, I was super stoked and I was like, 
that mysterious character out. I, I want to know more. He's cool. He has a jetpack. And then they started going into it more. You got the Dark Horse comics that dove into Boba Fett and Jango Fett and all that stuff. It is an awesome storyline. And so when they announced that the Mandalorian is going to get their own series on Disney Plus, I was like, it's going to be fantastic. You have Disney who has a geyser of cash. So the quality shouldn't be subpar. It shouldn't be something you'd see on the sci-fi channel. It's actually going to be movie quality. And especially they want they want people to subscribe to that Disney Plus too. So it's going to be awesome. I don't think it's going to disappoint. Especially when they're releasing figures at this quality. Like this figure is awesome. It is the best Mandalorian figure you can have in your collection. Articulation, detail, paint apps. Like it is amazing and i gotta give a huge shout out to judd again because it's if it wasn't for him hunting on force friday for me while i was at work i wouldn't have gotten this figure i wouldn't have got the other two figures i got so again much love much respect to you judd thank you so much and i need to find the regular regular fet well i just call him fet mandalorian no that's fet so i need to get the regular mandalorian because their colors are so different that i want to be able to you know turn this you know odd number of mandalorians into an even number so then i'll have six and uh it's it's gonna be awesome so but that that sums up my unboxing and review of star wars black series carbonized mandalorian if you guys like what you saw hit that thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe to it as i'm always going to be doing different reviews and hit that bell notification so you know when i post up a new video and i want you guys to make sure you check out toy code toys and collectibles the website's down below. There's a promo code that you can use to get free shipping from anything you see on that website to your doorstep. And there's two Facebook groups. You got the pre-order group, which allows you to stay in the know with your collectibles. And honestly, Andrew and Toyco takes a dump on the competition when it comes to pre-order prices compared to Big Bad Toy Store, Megalopolis, uh, Entertainment Earth. Toyco has not disappointed. Their prices are fantastic. So definitely check that pre-order group out. And then if you want to be part of a community, join up with the Toyco community. You can trade figures, talk figures, really have a good time. And then there's also the Plastic Cannibals group. At the end of the video, you'll see an image that says Plastic Cannibals. Go to Facebook, type in Plastic Cannibals. You'll see that image. That is my personal group. And uh, you're more than welcome to join in if you want to talk figures you're new to, to collecting and all that good stuff. Join in. There's three questions you got to answer in order to get brought into the group answer those questions and let's get in here and start talking and having a good time about figures and toys and all that good stuff so i want you guys to have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day